Our next guest tonight is, of course, the uh, creator and brutally honest judge on American Idol. He's now got a brand new dating show called Cupid, which premieres on July 9th at 10 o'clock p.m. on CBS. Please welcome Simon Cowell. <laughs> <laughs> now, well, I have to ask you something. I consider you to be one of the, uh, please, please, ladies, please. No, I like it. Oh, you like it? Okay. I'm just jealous. Uh, <laughs> bitter. Yeah, bitter, bitter man. Uh, I'm curious about something, which is, I, I think you're, you're the luckiest man in show business because you are known and famous for being a mean guy. Why are you doing that with your lip right now? I'm concentrating. Oh, concentrating. All right. That was frightening me. Um, but anyway... Uh, I'm just curious, you're known as being a mean guy, and I would think that that means if, when you're in a bad mood, or if you're mean to anybody, they're probably thrilled, because they think they're getting the Simon Cowell treatment. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. Like, you know, if, if you're mean to a waitress or mean to someone at an airport, they're like, hey, you, you, you'll never guess Simon Cowell was just mean to me. Uh, yeah, I mean, I have people, a, a lot of times, just running up to me saying, will you insult me? And I go, no. Right. Give me a reason. No, no, and there's one girl in particular, I remember, I was, I forget where I was, it was some ghastly award ceremony, and she came running up and said, um, I've always wanted to meet you because I need you to insult me. And I said, well, why? She said, I just want you to. I said, are you sure? She said, yes. Yeah. So I looked at her, and I I'll say to her what I would say to you. Okay. Your hair looks like <laughs> That's what I actually said. I did actually say that. No, I, I'm not saying that you're... What are you talking about? This is the greatest hair in show business. This is... And I will say to you, get that camera in here. Get that camera in. No, in here, in here, in here. I will say to Simon what I said to Bolton not long ago. Anytime, Cowell, anytime. <laughs> Anyway, I digress. Anyway, you I, digress. I digress. Yeah. I said that to her, and yeah. she said, well, what's wrong with my hair? I said, well, you've asked me to insult right, you. Right, she asked for yeah. it. Yeah, and then was insulted that I said something, so wow. I'll, I'll never do That's it again. That's interesting, because I didn't ask for it. <laughs> and yet you still hurt me terribly. No, but Conan, you inspired me. Look <laughs> what I can do. <laughs> Who else can do that? That's... I can't. That would have gotten me to the top in American Idol, probably. No. Uh, no, I didn't think that. Yeah. <laughs> What's about the last Idol runner-up, Clay? Yes. Clay is everywhere now. And you actually said that you uh, prefer him better when your eyes are closed. Yes. Um, <laughs> which was a sort of a compliment. Yeah. And it sounds very odd out of context, but... Uh, <laughs> but, but you said... <laughs> but I'm curious, you... you but anyway, obviously you're complimenting, but you said that to him, you're complimenting his singing, but that's a rough thing to say to somebody. Sort of, yeah. I mean, I, I try and say what was going through my mind, and as I looked at him, I just thought, you are the sort of singer who would sound better with your eyes shut. Right. Which is, again, a compliment. Right. Sort of. You didn't... You were horrified by the way he looked when American Idol that season started. Well, there was a transformation. I mean, when he came in, I mean, I think he'd admit it, he was really ugly. <laughs> no, but he was. Um, and you couldn't ignore it. And, um... <laughs> and I just said to him... I like how when you think you're... In, you said, he's really ugly, and people went on. You went, no, but he really was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, but That's was. your way of trying to make it better. Yeah, yeah he was, and, and I couldn't ignore it. So I, so I said, you know, during the first audition, we have a problem, because the show's called American Idol. Uh, you have a very good voice. There is a slight problem. You are ugly. Right. Um, but, but being fair, we put him through to the next round. Right. And uh, he transformed himself. Let's talk about Ryan Seacrest has been on this show. Yes. And uh, there was nothing we could do about it. And uh, he said... <laughs> it was obviously a quiet that, Yeah, he said that you want... That he claims that you walk through airports just to get recognised. <laughs> that you're that vain and self-centred. Is that true? You, let me tell you a true story. And by the way, your hair looks like... I just have to, <laughs> just have to say, no. <laughs> it's fun. I'm realizing it's fun to do that. You are, you are really cool. 
I'm so sorry I hurt you. Yeah, you <laughs> now you're about to well, fall I, apart that, because of that. That, that hurt. Uh, but is that true? Do you want through airports to be recognized? No, I don't. But I'll tell you a true story about Ryan. This really is a true story. Ryan Seacrest actually goes into a airport and tannoys himself. What's tannoy? Well, you phone up the information and say, can someone get me Ryan Seacrest? So it's broadcast across the airport. <laughs> so that people go, oh, Ryan Seacrest, and he's kind of like this, oh, it must be me. Right. And he actually tannoys himself. Only no one's looking for him when that happens. That's the drawback. Oh, yeah, that guy. Anyway, let's get my luggage. Uh, let's talk about this new dating... <laughs> let's talk about this dating show, Cupid, because we don't have much time, but I want to get this in. There was a lot of dating shows out there. How is your dating show different? Well, it's a lot more cruel. Are you stroking your hair on your arm? I've never seen it. You're like a Bond villain, but with the, the hair on your arm. You would die now, Mr. Bond. Brrr, it, was, it was going in the wrong direction. You're a very strange man. Uh, yeah, he's telling me I'm strange, right? Um, yes, I am. You're stroking, you're stroking the hair on your arm. Yes. Sorry. But anyway. Why are you clapping? Yeah. <laughs> Every time, they've got their I, every time I come on this show, something happens. Last time, this weird dog insulted me. Now you're insulted. Yes, I'm sorry. The insult comic dog, we can't do anything about him. Yeah, what a shame. Um, um, what were we saying, Cupid? Yeah, it's a lot more real. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like... I find a lot of these um, dating shows like The Bachelor of The Bachelor, they're like daytime dramas, and we won't allow any red roses on our show. There's not going to be any soft focus. There's no violins. And I've banned the word journey. Journey, because they say that word a lot. The... Every man on this show, instead of saying, I'm really pissed at you because I want to go to bed with you, they say, well, I'm sorry, because our journey's ended. Right, or, right. When would you ever say that in real life? I'd use that line on women, Did basically. it work? No, it didn't. OK, no, well, there you go. Um... So it's just a lot more real, it's a lot more fun. It's one girl, she's got her friends with her. Oh, she's... Now, this is the twist. You, they can have their girlfriend... These girls can have their girlfriends with them. Well, yeah, because I find it odd that on these dating shows, the producers select the guys for the girl. Right. I think it's right that the girl and her friends, as in real life, should go across America and audition whoever they want. Right, OK. The only problem with that is that 95% of the people turned up should be in an asylum. Really? I, I, I swear, you think American Idol was odd at the beginning. This is, like, so strange. Right. And all these wackos walk in, and the girls absolutely bury them. Right. They say the, the cruel, mean things that, uh, to get rid of these guys. Is that what you're... you're yeah, you're... and I think when women are cruel, they're, they're much worse than men. I believe that's true, yeah, actually. it is. It is. Yeah. Because they just bury these poor guys. And I had to say to one of the girls at one point, I think you're going too far. You said that. <laughs> That's amazing. When Simon Cowell steps in and says, enough, leave this poor fellow alone. I actually did, because I kind of came from a kind of guy's That's perspective. That's like Genghis Khan stepping in and saying, please, <laughs> let's have some order here. <laughs> sort of. It's exactly like that. Uh, are you back next season for American Idol? Because there's been talk in the press. Maybe you're not coming back. Well, I think we have done a deal. Oh, good. Yeah. All right. Well, I enjoy you on the show. No one's clapping. Of course not. <laughs> Uh, that's all right. Now, now that sounded insincere. It went on way yeah. too long. That yeah. was an insincere clap. <laughs> yeah, all right. I know the uh, difference. I was going to add it later in editing. Uh, <laughs> Cupid <laughs> premieres uh, Wednesday, July 9th at 10 o'clock uh, p.m. on CBS. Simon, good to have you here. Thank you very much. Simon Cowell, everybody. We'll be right back with Wendy Northcutt. Stick around.